just a second. Okay, we are recording this English meeting right now, thank you. So I would like to, to express my gratitude. I'd like to express my grateful to be here with you. Thank you for here to be here with me. Thank you for answering my uh, my asks here on the English WhatsApp group. So we are recording some videos here just to practice speaking skills and to remember what did we said. Uh, what did you said about uh, the English meeting? So uh, I'd like to say for everyone who maybe are watching us here on this YouTube channel, I'd like to say they to subscribe here, to click in the like button, and to leave their comments below just to help us to build our English vocabulary. I would like to remember them that we are just English learners. So we are not we are not an English teacher. We are just English learners here. So we sometimes we make mistakes and that's okay. That's no problem. The main problem here is just to improve our speaking skills. And uh, that is the key to succeed. We just need it to keep up, keep move up and move it forward. At, uh, between our our dreams or towards or towards our dream. So uh, I'd like to say hello for Jehado. Jehado, hello. How have you been? Let me see. Hello, Jehado. How have you been? Jehado just join us here. Thank you. He asked me. I send a link to him just to join us here. So Jehado, hello, my friend. How have you been? Okay, let's see if uh, your internet connection will where be better. Uh, where's the problem? My, my, my side, I don't think I have it. Yeah, you, you are quite low. Your internet is quite lower, but we can see and you can hear you. Don't, don't problem. Okay, no, we have no problem with understanding. Uh, we are just starting this English meeting, Jehada. So thank you to join us. Thank you to be here with us. And I just would like to advise, I just would like to, uh, to you both be aware that we are recording this English meeting to post on our YouTube channel. And the main purpose is just to improve our speaking skills. This English meeting is just about that. And today, the topic is to be related to the future. So I'm going to make some questions for both of you uh, related to your future. What are you thinking about the future? Not just your future, but the future from all over the world. So the first question I'd like to say is, I'd like to ask you for danger is, what does the future hold? Uh, Tanvir was answered that question. I believe you already answered. Did you finish that question? Would you like to answer again, Tanvir? Mm. Would you like to answer again, Tanvir? Yeah, or did you already finish that? That uh, that's a question. Did you already answer? Would you like to answer again the same question? Just to jihad understand you. Just jihad to know. Okay, so let's keep moving. Let's move forward for Jehado. Jehado, what does the future hold in your opinion? Could you hear me? Can you hear me, guys? I don't know if you are hearing me. Let me see here. What happened? Yeah, I your... can hear. Okay, so in the Jehado, can you hear me? I believe that Jehado cannot hear us because we have some problems with their, his connection. Uh, let's move forward. So the second question, it will be for you, Tenver. What will the future be like? What do you think that the future uh, should be or what you'd like the future uh, be like? So, uh, what you already told me sometimes uh, some answers about what the future hold, which means what the future can bring to us. But what do you think that the future will be like if the things continue to be as like they are right now? The things like are right now. So, what do you think? What you can explain for us about the future uh, a little bit deeper right now? 
because the first question it's more general and the next question which means what will the future be like is quite deep related to the first one so would you like to say anything about this go ahead danger would you like to answer you are muted you are muted right now oh sorry sorry alex so i'd like you to answer the second question can you see the second question yeah i can see second question but don't know yeah, it's similar to a uh, previous question yes indeed indeed so let's yeah. change let's change let me ask this question for jihado can you hear me right now jihado can you hear me right now Let me let me advise him that we cannot hear. Let me just wrote to her. To me, Alex. So for Ziad. Okay, so Jehado left our English meeting, so let's keep going with us because I believe we have a problem with his connection. So yes. second, let no me problem. try the third question. Let's try the third yep. question. Yeah, get on. Did you know? Did you know who invented the first, the very first computer? Have you ever heard about this story? Yeah, obviously, I invented. Uh, I, oh. Yes, obviously. Wait, wait. I I don't know who invented a, a computer, but uh, exactly a computer is very important for us and it's uh, very fast uh, working anything any time or for any works for any texts uh, for a student uh, for uh, for film maker for it's very important for marketing manager it's very important for bank sector every uh, i think every sector need a computer yes indeed i agree with you and i was but, looking but i can I, I did not i do not know i do not know who invented a computer okay so i look at her at the google i didn't know too i didn't know who were the who has invented the computer but right now i look google it here and the google answered me that who is the inventor of the computer is charles babbage charles babbage something like that charles charles babbage. Babbage. Exactly. okay thank let you thank you yes let me just wrote for you at the chat here just so you get an idea okay i put on the chat i put on our chat charles babbage he is the guy uh, this is the guy who invented the computer so it's like you told i believe uh, I, I believe the same i have the same point of view as you said uh, without computer the world could not be as is is it like right now so for instance we are talking here we are speak each other uh, there's a huge difference a huge distance between you and i uh, or uh, which means i'm at brazil and you are at the asian uh, continent so which Asian means of Bangladesh. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly so it's a uh, very important to have computer and uh, yeah, yeah. meanwhile uh, meanwhile the internet is very important too because computer without internet there's no there's not internet so... not working or without exactly. internet computer yeah right right uh, it's uh, ma many 
our smartphone similar to computer uh, so many so many folders so many website we have we, we can start seeing our um, smartphone but uh, computer is uh, best for editing best for marketing seller best for coding and etc exactly exactly so let's jump on the next question so we talked about computer we already talking about the future let me explain what i think uh my future uh, what i have been thinking for my future for my own future uh, i know sometimes the future is not uh, as we like it to be sometimes we cannot uh, hold it we cannot control everything about our future but in my opinion my future as i have been improving my speaking skills i have been listening uh, i have been uh, uh try learn english harder and i really i really would like to work in a foreign country i really would like to move for a foreign country even australia canada or united states doesn't matter each of this country it would be good for me uh but i would like to be there i'd like to move to there just to work uh in my career not to work in anything not to work as a uh constructor as a, a clean clean houser as a Painter, I do not like to be there. If I move to another country, it will be related to my career. It's it, it will be for work as I have been working here at Brazil, or better, or better than that. Because Brazil is a good country. I like to live here. I really appreciate it. I think at Brazil. But my dream is to live in a country to speak in English. That's my dream. Uh, I don't know if it will be possible one day, but we have been looking for. We have been looking uh, uh, to this point. You know. And that is what I think. I think in the future, I gonna work for an international company, which maybe can bring you, maybe uh, can pick up me to there, maybe can uh, took, me, took me and put them, I don't know if it's the right way to say that, but maybe it makes me move to another country, you know? That's what I think. I have been looking for this. I'd like to be in English. I'd like to have more opportunity in international companies. I know I like what I'm doing right now. I like my country. I like everything about my life. But uh, if the things could be better, it would be awesome. Okay, if the things could be improved at my my career, it would be awesome. But I'm I'm glad. I'm already glad with what I'm doing right now. The things that I'm doing right now, the company which I'm working for right now, I'm glad. I'm I'm satisfied with that. But of course, if I got opportunity. In the future to move for move it to abroad or to to travel abroad it will be also awesome. yeah, uh, yeah yeah i i got it i got it uh, it's when when you you when you na english uh, native speaker and you get uh, so many opportunity uh, your country and uh, so uh, you get a uh, market you get a best job and uh, uh, even even you get an international company job because uh, english is more essential and very very essential for our language very very essential international language that's why uh, it, it's main dreams for you and uh, when you when you get a when you get a Sorry, when 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 you decided a traveling, when you decided abroad for a traveling, but uh, you you did not you, you you did not you did not settle for uh, you did not settle life abroad. You settle you decided you settle your country. Your life settle your country. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Exactly. Right? That's it. That's yeah. it uh so let's talk about continue to speak about the future let's talk about something which have been uh, increasing a lot do you know elon musk probably do you know elon musk yeah 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 elon, oh, I, I, elon musk exactly elon, so, elon musk is tesla ceo tesla of course yeah, yeah. He, he is a ceo of the tesla, CEO and, of tesla. exactly yeah. So I'd like to ask you things about uh, why. Why did I ask it some uh, about Elon Musk? Just to, just to see if you know Elon Musk, because if you know Elon Musk, 
probably you are uh, updated with the news, the last, the latest news related to technology, related to AI, related to uh, uh, electricity, things like electricity. So I would like to ask the question about uh, uh, robots. Do you think that will robots replace humans? What are you thinking about robots? Because when we're talking about robots, we can see there's a lot of uh, uh, expectation. There's a lot of uh, people uh, looking for new theories, things like that, related to robots. Robots uh, replace humans in their jobs, position, in their activity, in their daily activity. So, what do you think? What is your opinion about humans be replaced by robots? What are you thinking about this? Because the future have been brings a lot of new technologies, a lot of new AI systems. So. Do you think that robots can replace humans? Yeah, I think a robot replace human and but uh, it's probably so many is strong and uh, it's working everything but human human cannot uh, everything working because uh, Human body, human body shape is creating our God, our, or robot creating women. That's why it's very difficult. And a, a robot uh, can do everything, but uh, human do, uh, human did not everything. Uh, robot uh, working any sector or a uh, robot. Uh, carry on every strong build or every rock and uh, how can I say he heavy material a robot can carry on carrying but uh, human cannot human cannot uh, every every material carry it's yeah. probably different yeah Okay. Okay, I know, I got you. So, Alice, hello. How have you been, Alice? It's nice to see you here with us. Is everything okay? Uh, hello, uh, Alex. Hello, Tanvir. Um, it's nice, uh, very nice to see you guys. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty good. I have a very good Sunday, and uh, just now I was in the shopping mall with my husband, uh, oh. and I just uh, arrived home. So I I am late uh, of today's uh, practicing, but um, it's very nice okay. to practice with your guys. Okay, no, that's nice. I'm glad that you have a, a nice Sunday. Uh, uh, and uh, go to shop or did the shopping is so important. It's very, uh, it's very funny. It's a very glad moment. So I'm glad to hear that you and your husband were have a little funny moment together. That's very important to the uh, to the couples today. So, guys, I will and Tanvin and I, Alice, Tanvin and I was talking about the future. Some questions relate about the future, and I did some questions to him. Uh, the first question which I'd like to ask you right now is really is the first question which I started here this English conversation, and I'd like to ask you. What will the future be like, in your opinion? The future, not just about your uh, own career, but related to the world. What do you think that the future will be like? Uh, okay, uh, it's a very interesting question. Uh, actually, uh, I uh, I have never thought about what the future be like. But uh, um, it's very uh, it's, it will be very interesting to think about this. And I think, uh, because of the uh, fast de uh, develop of the technology, uh, our uh, our world has changed a lot uh, in the past twenty years. And I believe uh, the technology will uh, continue uh, the very fast developing, and um, in the future, uh, the technology will uh, also change us a lot. Um, maybe, uh, let, oh, sorry, uh, let, let me have some, um, ima uh, imagination. 
um, for example, the uh, the chat GPT uh, is very po has been very popular these days, and uh, uh, and I think uh, it is very uh, brilliant. Uh, and um, this is uh, I think the uh, chat GPT is a uh, it's a result of the uh, artificial intelligence uh, intelligence and um, I, I believe this will help us a lot uh, in the future and um, I, I think in the future some uh, some very easy uh, positions will be replaced for example the um, there are some people whose work is to type to to type some more uh, some words uh, in the in the company uh, actually i think uh, this work uh, this this work this job uh, this work is not quite difficult and uh, every day th those people repeat their uh, their work again and again so um, I, I think in the future um, maybe chat gpt or something else uh, related to artificial intelligence uh, will repl uh, will replace uh, those uh, those positions and um, then uh, the the type person can do something more interesting uh, and uh, besides in China uh, I find uh, I, I find that it is interesting because uh, we um, maybe three three weeks ago we moved to a new office building, and uh, this building is um, is much larger than the previous building, and uh, there is a robot, who, uh, which can, uh, uh, which can do the delivery, uh, in our building. Uh, yes. Um, sometimes we have some more, uh, mail mailbox, uh, and um, the the robot can uh pick um, maybe the the postman will put the, this mailbox in a particular place, and then this robot can go to that place to pick up the mailbox, uh, and then this robot will take the elevator by he, itself and uh, go to the a particular um, place to send this mailbox to uh, to the right person. So I think uh, that was amazing. Um, he can he can replace the work of 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 the postman and uh, and at this time the postman can do something uh, more interesting uh, and um, and i think there are still a lot of jobs that uh, a lot of positions that can be replaced such as the uh, the person who uh, who is responsible for washing dishes uh in the restaurant they maybe they uh, they clean uh they, they collect the, the dirty dishes and uh, wash them uh and uh, put the uh clean dishes uh in the in, in a particular place i, I think this is uh, uh, this can also be replaced so um, mm -hmm. all in all i think in the future uh our world will be more and more uh, convenient Thanks to the uh, fast develop of the technology. Okay. That's wow. It. Wow. I, now I got a little scared, a little scared about the future because, I, do you know, when I uh, I thinking about the future, and you you already answered the second question that I did to Tanvir here. We are talking about first what the future could, uh, would be like, and if I asked it to Tanvir some minutes before you join us. I asked him uh, what uh, if it would be possible to the robots to the robots uh, take or replace human beings in some positions. I asked him to Tanver, and we are talking about that before you join us, Alice. But I I would like to ask you other things here, guys, uh, which is not on the on the script of this English meeting. It's not uh, about, uh, it's not between these questions. Is another question. It's not a question which I would like to know by my own about your opinion guys uh do you think uh do you, don't you think let me ask don't you think here that uh, if these things happen like we'll honestly they're giving us some examples right now 
uh, that that person or these persons which has uh, the basic jobs, which has jobs which is not quite difficult, it's not so, uh, 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 how can I say, it was not a big, a big deal, which is, is a job, but it's not quite difficult. Uh, if they maybe get replaced by the IA, by the AI, by the robots or things like that, machines, um, to get a, a new position or to be or to be able to do some other things, more important things, they must start. They must start studying right now. They must start developing their skills. For instance, they must start maybe do a college, maybe do a, a, another course and things like that, because they must be capacitated. They must be able to do uh, more difficult things. Because if they don't, maybe they will lose their jobs and they will not got new one. They will got. Uh, they will not be able to find a new job, a new position. And this can, this can be a quite uh, tough for the economy. For the families, some families which are not uh, the, their parents maybe are not so familiar with technology, with new things, because I, I don't know what I don't know if you did you get it. What I want to say here is just uh, 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 just to discuss a new topic here, which means, do you think so? If uh, people uh, start losing their jobs for some machines, for some AI technology, because it's so quite uh, easy to them to do it they must to start to replace their knowledge or start to study again to be able to get or to found a new job and what do you think about this alice uh i um i get your point i got your point mm, you are afraid that people will uh, lose their uh, their previous jobs uh, that can be replaced by ai um maybe uh, maybe uh, it is quite a problem in the short run, but I think in the long run, uh, we, we can solve this problem because uh, I, I can give you an example. Uh, maybe 2000 years ago, we don't have any machine. All the human beings need to pl uh, plant the uh, crown by themselves. Uh, all the, every day, all the people is trying to uh, plant some vegetable and uh, uh, give the vegetable water and uh, uh, collect it in the in the autumn. Uh, maybe I I can't describe this uh, very clearly, but uh, I think you can understand me. Uh, all the people are doing these things, and maybe um, some man some men were uh, doing the hunting. They they uh, they hunt some animals. Uh, and uh, cook, uh, cooked their meat. Um, at that time, all the human beings were doing that job. But now we have a lot of machine to do this. And uh, only, only a small, very small part of uh, human being are doing this now. But uh, the, the life, the part of the people still have job. They have more advanced job. Such as they are, um, they, they can be teachers, they can be doctors, uh, they can be like you um, as a security engineer who uh, teach other people how to keep safe. Uh, such as me, I am an uh, engineer in a tech company. So I think um, developing tech technology will always be good for our society. Maybe in the uh, in the short run it will uh, let us lose the job, but I I believe in the long run we we can uh, because we are human beings we are brilliant and smart we can learn how to uh, how to find a new job we can learn new uh, techniques. So I am not quite worried about this, but um, maybe for those people who are doing the uh, the simple work they they have already hide some knowledge uh, about other things because uh, for example some people who uh, is always typing in the company he I, I believe he must have learned some more advanced things in school uh, but uh, but now he is wasting his knowledge 
because he types every day. So I I, I believe he he can uh, he he can find uh, another job in the future. And I I think our government will help us to do this. Okay, okay. that's my. Okay, uh, I got a point of view, and I I agree with you. I agree. You make me think clear about that right now. You make me understand quite better uh, other points of view. And you think, sir, what are you thinking about that? We talked about this some minutes before Alice joined us. And what are you thinking about the future? We are talking about her um, the problem that we may be we maybe have been creating with the technology, which is uh, unemployed people fired some people who has their basic jobs who has uh, easy jobs which uh, any machine can do it for us so uh, do you think it to be a problem for the future or do you think that it would be nice to have more uh, ai working or machines working maybe this can make the human beings think forward because i agree with alice said alice said the last the last uh, phrase that alice told us is very interesting and i this makes me thinking about my own career right now. This makes me think about myself. Uh, she said that maybe that person who Alex. just... Alex, can you, repeat this? can you repeat this? Yeah. Um, what, kind of, what kind of question? Can yeah, you repeat this? Yeah, yes, I will repeat. Just, uh, I'm just introducing the question first. So I'm talking about what Alice told us in the last part of her English speaking. So she said one thing which I believe it's very interesting, which is, uh, it was uh, that uh, maybe if some machines start to replace the humans' jobs, uh, this person who lost their jobs or, this per or that person who lost their jobs may be uh, uh, I go to do other uh, things. I have a little bit problem our internet. Ah, okay. Your I internet. cannot hear, I cannot hear. Okay, no problem, no problem. Let's go ahead. Let's jump for uh, for the not next topic. Please, but please, 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 can you repeat this? Can you repeat this question? Yes, I I would repeat. I didn't I didn't repeat the question. I didn't ask anything yet. I'm just uh, I'm just asking around. I'm just talking about the speech in, uh, from Alice. Alice has told some things. And I'm just discover. I'm just discovering. I'm just talking about what Alice, what Alice just said for us. And just so you know, Alice, I, I agree with you. And that the last phrase, the last phrase that you said, makes me thinking about. For instance, you gave a, a, an example about from writer person, people who just writing, people who just typing things on their laptops, on their company. Uh, here, in Brazil, we we had some years ago. We had this this job too. But today, I believe it, that this type of job doesn't exist anymore. I don't know. I believe so because the the computer have been doing so many things for us. I believe it is is one of the things. But I agree that you said that person maybe worked 15 years for the same company, just doing right stops, just doing right, just typing on their computer. The, the, that is what she does or he does. But uh, now. People were uh, that that technology, for instance, Chat G, Chat GPT uh, just arrives, and uh, that person was not necessary. That person is not needed anymore under this position. So, and during that the last fifteen years, probably she or he have been learning other things to do at this company, and maybe the employer will thinking about this and will give another opportunity on the same company. For, the, for that person, because uh, maybe she can do other things more productive uh, or more productive things. Uh, I agree, it's very interesting. Of course, of course, I'm I'm a, a little concerned just because, uh, I don't know if you know, but there's a huge difference between China and Brazil when we talk about culture. And here in Brazil, just for you have an idea, here in Brazil, unfortunately, there are, there are a lot of people who didn't finish their primary school. They didn't finish. They started work and they never go back to the, the basic school, to the primary school, you know, to the, I believe it's high school. They, they didn't finish their high school, but uh, so they have no knowledge about some technical things because here in Brazil, you just 
uh, you just are allowed, you just is allowed to do some technical courses or graduation if you finish your high school. So as you didn't finish, you needed to finish first your high school or after that, you start your bachelor's degree, you start your uh, other courses, stuff like that. And of course, in the future, maybe this machine, this technological uh, devices or never, or, or these robots or things like that, we will need more knowledge to be operated by humans or to be uh, replaced uh, parts by humans to keep maintenance uh, uh, on, you know. So that's why I'm concerned, but I agree. I just like to say again, I agree with the, what you just said right now, that maybe in the short time it will be a bad situation, but in the future, uh, in the longer range, we can uh, see the outcomes, positive outcomes about that. That's very important. We must keep focus on the future. We cannot stop the technology just because we are afraid of, like you said, um, some 10 years ago, for instance, people work on plant, uh, plant things and collect things and uh, make some harvest. I believe that's the right word. People plant and maybe they had to harvest, uh, they made the harvest by themselves. But today there are a lot of machines, tractors and big machines that helping them and they find another thing another ways to help the with human beings so people will find some new things to do i i want to believe it, uh, the same thing like you i want to believe on that so very interesting guys very interesting it's not quite easy it's a technical a technical discussing that we are having here but make us think make us think about the future that's uh, very important um let me see here. The next question it will be. Uh, let me see. Okay. So the question I would like to ask you it will be something like this. Imagine the job you wish to hold when you get older. Could you? Uh, could a robot be programmed to do that job as well as you? So I would like to know that if you uh, imagine uh, you get the job. Uh, of your dreams you get a job of your dreams that job you really want to be when you were just a child so you always thought about this job in the future and you manage it you achieve this this job you did it this opposition of your career but i'd like to ask you in the future do can you see can you imagine if the robots or the ai will be able to do it as you in the future when you get older uh, what are you thinking about that? Tanger, would you like to answer this question? Okay, let's... Uh, maybe it's possible in future, but uh, I can say... Um, I would like to say that, but I would like to say that uh, when robot working in any sector or any job of uh, or job sector and how can I say? Uh, it's better. It's better, but it's not better than human, because human is uh, human understanding everything. Robot cannot understanding everything. But uh, uh, robot, uh, when robot working in any sector, any official sector, he carry a material subject and. He working and he computer typing very fast, but it's uh, it, it, it's possible by a computer and uh, it's possible help uh, by help human robot uh, when uh, robot uh, when human help for uh, when human help a robot then robot uh, will be able to a uh, any working uh, and uh, he robot can do everything but uh, without human robot cannot uh, 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 without a uh, human without human possible uh, cannot possible everything by a robot it's my opinion but in nice. future uh, yeah 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 uh, and anyway, uh, AI, 
AI sector is one of the best sector and uh, now recently it's very popular uh, for human being and even uh, everything gets and every every hard work uh, easily uh, do easily every hard work do easily by AI and when when a man uh, <coughs> how can I say and another thing is set GTP. Set GTP is uh, one of the most, uh, how can I say, one of the most mentor. Mentor means uh, each uh, every question answer has a set GTP. When you uh, you guess, when you thinking a question and you just searching a question and he answers same to same uh, correctly. It's very, it's very essential for us because uh, we are a student and we tie a, we tie, a, a, we, tie a, we every day tie know everything our world. That's the sensitive is most important. And anyway, however, uh, robot, uh, robot. Uh, Restaurant, restu, restaurant purpose is very important. Restaurant purpose or uh, security guard purpose. Uh, recently, Alice said, or uh, how can I say? It's uh, creating. It's creating a building. It's creating a building, and every uh, hard working. Uh, do uh, every hard working possible by the robot but <coughs> the sector is not possible by robot yeah i understand you i got your point i got your point yeah. so uh, human beings is so important that without human beings the robots cannot do so many things because we yeah, yeah, yeah. we're gonna pro we're gonna program them so we uh, will be responsible for everything that the robots will uh, realize it, the robots will be able to do. It's, of course, everything will be our responsibility. So we must to manage this uh, with wisdom and it will be fine, everything to be good. So that's it for today, guys. I just would like to ask uh, this talk is for you today. I'm just would like to, right now talking about the three things. So. Let me know, uh, Halisi, how was the weather today at your country? Right now it's at night, it's already at night at your country, but how was the weather today? It was a sunny day, it was rainy, cold day. Could you describe the what was the weather? How was the weather like? It, it is still a sunny day. Uh, actually, uh, in my city, um, it hardly ever rains and snows. Um, Maybe uh, the majority of this uh, around uh, in a year is, is a sunny day, but it's too hot. The temperature is extremely high. It is uh, still over 40 degrees Celsius. And uh, in my city, um, it, it's, very, uh, it's very hard to survive between um, maybe between May uh, and uh, August because uh, it's too hot uh, and uh, I, I can't uh, I can't even walk outside because I if I um, went outside uh, at the me uh, at the midday uh, I, I I will feel quite bad and uh, actually last weekend I, I was a little um, I got a little sense joke because it, it was too hot. Nice, nice, but it's it's quite nice, but of course 40 Celsius degree it's quite hard, it's quite uh, hot. So here in Brazil when uh, when we got at least the 30 Celsius degree, we already uh, feel we already be able to feel the bad the, bad the temperature the bad the outcomes about that. Maybe we can burn our our skin. Maybe we can burn. Uh, uh, maybe we can feel uh, dehydrated. Dehydrated. If you do not uh, uh, drink, if you do not drink much water, so it's cool. It's quite important to drink a lot of water. It's quite important to use the. Uh, solar protector and things like that. So 
take care about that because sunny day it's beautiful it's very nice but it's danger if you not use the right way if you not take care about our body so take care about that 40 celsius degree it's a little danger sometimes if you do not know how to deal with so uh but i'm i'm uh, how can i say i'm a little I, i'm quite jealous i'm quite jealous about your country right now because here in brazil today unfortunately is a rainy day uh, it's raining uh, it's cold because we are on the winter season here and so i'm feel so jealous about china right now <laughs> China is quite hot and we are almost freezing here, guys. I'm freezing. So I must uh, I must turn on my heater, my home heat, my home heater. That's it. I'm a home heater, uh, which is a uh, equipment to harm our home, harm our house. It's like air conditioner, but it's not air conditioner. It's a equipment to warm our uh, our house here. I'm just uh, had to turn it, turn, turn it on to help a little bit because it's quite cold uh even inside of my home it's quite cold right now and you Tenver, how is the weather like right now our country today exactly. our country yes at your country how was the weather like today yeah our country is today today weather is cloudy weather but uh, high temperature because uh, temperature is so uh, let's see i let me talk about this uh while Tamber was not able to speak so yesterday i was at my my friend's home and we were talking about English and they watched some videos from mine and my colleagues started to send a lot of messages uh, saying the congratulations man oh your English is awesome you are talking with people from China though that's nice people hello, started hello. to compliment hello. About that. <laughs> go ahead thank you hello hello sorry Go ahead, go ahead. You are talking about the weather. How is the weather like at your country? Our country's weather is cloudy weather, but uh, high temperature continue because uh, because it's uh, likely summer or summer type of. But uh, high high temperature is uh, forty two. Celsius, uh, 42 degree 42 really? celsius degree and uh, really? how can 42? i say yeah 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 42 oh it's so warm so warm it's so yeah, warm. Yeah. Uh, 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 it's very it's very hot too it's like china yeah, yeah. it's yeah. almost like china yeah 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 but uh, cloudy cloudy but uh, our country recently continue rainy season continue okay okay but nice. uh, uh, we, are, we, we are shocked we are shocked our country people shocked uh, today weather and today temperature when he feel when everyone feel and every every people shock it because, yeah, because uh, it's uh, sometimes rainy, sometimes it's rainy, and sometimes most, cold. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a highly temperature in uh, two thousand twenty three. Oh, understood. I today. got it. it. Today, today was like the hottest day, the hottest day. That's it. Hottest day from twenty twenty three until right now. It was. 43 Celsius degree. Okay, what? so it was. Uh, so today, you, you just said that today was considered one of the uh, the warmest uh, day for, uh, until 2023. Today, at your country, was considered to be one of the hottest day with the highest temperature, the highest temperature uh, from the year until right now. That's it. From the 2023 which means it's one of the most yeah, warm yeah. day 
from 2023 until right now. So nice, guys. Uh, I just would like to yeah, yeah, right it, now uh, 2023. Yes, I just would like to keep here this conversation because I but, thought, um, I thought it very interesting. I thought it very interesting to know that there are a lot of difference between our countries. And I was talking with Alice some minutes before uh, asking like, her needed to do something. I'd like to to say for you guys because it would be very interesting. I believe for both of you, it would be. Sorry, Tenver, we have some problems with your connection. Maybe you are with some delay, a little delay. Uh, but if you need to say I anything, have a question. go ahead. Uh, what kind of weather are your countries today? My country today, it's unfortunately, for my opinion, of course, unfortunately, is a rainy, uh, rainy day. Unfortunately, we got some rainy, and right now it's quite uh, cold. It's quite cold weather, and uh, but it's today right now. It's almost. It's right now. It's a midday. It's uh, twelve eighteen a midday a.m. Which, which means p.m. twelve eighteen uh, p.m. Uh, and right now, right now, I just stop it to rainy, but it continues to be cloud and cold day. It's a bad day to me because I like when we had sunny days. I like to go outside to do outside activities at my weekends. But today, unfortunately, I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna be at home, doing watching videos, speaking with you, and plays with my kids, things like that. Because the day outside is not quite good, unfortunately. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, but uh, as we're talking, I, I'd like to share with you my experience here, guys. One experience which I had yesterday. Uh, yesterday, I decided to post some uh, some videos on my store about my WhatsApp. You know, WhatsApp has a feature which is called uh, uh, Stories, is it? Yes, it's Stories. I believe that it's Stories by WhatsApp. When you can post pictures and meanwhile, you can post short videos on your WhatsApp and everyone who have your contact, have your contact on their WhatsApp, they can see you, they can watch you. And I received a lot, I posted a video when I'm, uh, when I was speaking English, I was speaking some things, some short things in English, and I received a lot of messages from friends of mine, and they compliment me, uh, saying that my, that it was awesome that I have been speaking English, and I posted some videos from uh, our colleagues here, uh, I posted that some pictures that we have friends from China on our English speaking group. I'm able to communicate with you guys in English and they complimented me. They said, oh, that's amazing. Guy. That's amazing, Alexandro. You have been speaking English. Your English seems to be very well. So they complimented me and I felt so, so grateful, so grateful for you guys because you both have been helping me so much. To improve my speaking skills and it's amazing when we thinking about it, that we are able to communicate with people from uh other part of the world the whole globe so uh it's very uh, i'm i i got so happy at the same time i felt so happy and uh, so exciting about my future because it's true just thinking about yourself guys it's true you are able to communicate in english of course, we must improve our fluency, we must improve our vocabulary, and that's okay, that's normal, but we already speak in English. If someone asks you, are you able to speak English or do you speak English? You can answer, yes, I, I can speak English. Yes, I do. You can say, yes, I do. I quite, I, I do, I'll be able to speak a, a, a little bit of English. Uh, so you are able to speak English. So you already achieved the yeah, first part of- as it meant. Exactly. You you both achieve your first part of the goal. But the next step right now for us is to improve our vocabularies and to improve our, our comfort or our fluency. That is the key right now. And I'm so glad to that. Uh, Alice, have you have have you ever uh, received some compliments about your English right now in China? Do you speak with some other friends of you at your country? So uh, maybe uh, your colleagues, maybe your people who you work with. Uh, have you ever spoken with them 
uh, about that you were studying English or someone already saw you uh, at your videos uh, or something like that. How is uh, how do people view your English studies right now? Uh, I, I actually uh, I, I have never showed my colleague uh, our videos. Maybe I don't know. Uh, maybe Lawrence uh, had saw uh, had saw some, uh, but um, uh, but unfortunately he he he's very busy on weekends, so he can't join us. I uh, I, I don't know why and. Uh, um, but I, I told my colleagues that I uh, was practicing English with uh, with uh, Brazilian people, Bangladesh people, and uh, people from other parts of the world. Uh, they decided that, oh, wow, your English must be uh, very good. Uh, and uh, uh, I, but, um, I actually, uh, in, my, in my company, uh, I think, um, I'm I'm not quite close to my colleagues, um, because I, I don't know why. Actually, I uh, I I don't like this. Uh, sometimes I want to be close to my colleagues, but um, uh, they all they are all concentrated on their working. They don't want to talk about any privacy. Uh, but I uh, I like I'd like to talk about this with my friends. Uh, let me give you an example. Uh, one of my previous colleague, colleagues uh, is living in uh, Netherlands, Amsterdam, uh, with, with her boyfriend, who is a Frenchman. And uh, several, uh, several days ago, uh, they, they, ca they came back to China to visit, uh, to visit that girl's parents. And uh, I had dinner with them. And I found I find that I I could uh, communicate with that French man in English because he he uh, that French man don't speak Chinese, so I have to communicate with him in English. And uh, uh, although they my my English skill is not good as theirs because they have uh, they have been speaking English for uh, over maybe seven or eight years. So they they are just like native speakers, and they live in uh, Netherlands. Uh, English is their uh, working and uh, uh, and the life language and the living language. So, but uh, although my English is not as good as they as theirs, I can communicate with them very well. So, I, I think my my English is uh, is pretty good now because uh, my goal is to communicate with uh, foreigners uh, and uh, I have already achieved this uh, but but I uh, actually I still have uh, a lot of things to do I uh, I still need to improve myself no oh, that's nice uh, I'm so glad to hear that example which you gave us uh, it's very quite it's quite a uh, how can I say it's quite uh, exciting to to know that when we are able to communicate with others in english it's uh, we felt uh, so good we feel so good when we had this opportunity and i can't uh, i have an, uh, an idea about how you feel how do you how did you feel about this time and that is the key guys we must put ourselves on uh without our which means uh, uh we must put ourselves out of our comfort zone that's the key to improve our brain uh, so uh, I, I got the same feelings some days ago. Uh, as I said, people started to compliment me. People started to uh, give some uh, congratulations for my English. And when I talk with them, that I have friends from like uh, Denver, like uh, Genuel, like Chiming, like uh, Alice. They they think about my English. They they tell, oh, your English must be amazing. I, I don't know how can you do it. It's quite difficult to learn English and things like that. But we are here, and I, I'm glad to share this with you. I'm glad to share that everything is... Uh, you both guys, our group, our English speaking club, have been proving it so much. So, guys, well, I would like to finish this English meeting here. But, of course, without finishing, uh, well, yep. before finish it, before we finish it, uh, I'd like to say... So, I'd like you both say something that I would like to be... I'd like to make a short video about... Uh, this part that we're gonna say right now. And I will just ask some questions. I'd like to you guys answer this question as quickly as possible, of course, 
but I'd like to answer uh, to motivate others to join us here at our English speaking club, because I will use this part of the video to invite other ones to help or to invite other ones to came here with us to practice English with us here at our English group. So I'd like to both guys, if it would be possible, I don't know, open your camera and answer the question because I will record this part of this video, like a short video to to put out my uh, shorts on the YouTube channel and to invite others to help us and to maybe improve our English speaking club here. So right now, I, it will be start, okay? Uh, did you understand, Tenver? Yeah, I understand. Okay, so Alice, did you understand it, what I would like to do right now? Uh, yes. Okay, so I'm going to ask you the question right now. Uh, so, hey, that's it for today, guys. Before we finish, I'd like to you both guys uh, say something about how do you feel about your English and why people needed to be here with us, why people uh, would like to be uh, that, that would like to improve their speaking skills, would like to improve their English skills, why they should be here with us. So, Tenver, what do you think about how this English speaking decision have been helping you improve your speaking skills? Yeah, thank you, Alex. Uh, firstly, I, uh, I would like to say that uh, English is important for uh, every human being and because English is international language and when you go, when you get a, any international job it's very essential uh, and uh, English is speaking working for our language and when uh, we are going to abroad, uh, it's very essential for our uh, for our communication, and because uh, every person need every person know English, but every person do not know a personal country's uh, language. Uh, that's why it's very important. And uh, any job sector uh, interview when you uh, will go when you will go there and uh, you need a uh, english uh, english language uh, do not allow without english language and do not uh, allow without english speaking Th and that's why it's very important uh, for us and for human being for human being uh, i in my opinion uh, uh, if you if you need a uh, just you need a uh, you need a how can I say? You need a group and you need a practice. And uh, uh, I, I would like to say, I say that uh, in my opinion, uh, it is better for me and for us when you got a group conversation, when you, uh, when you every day practice English speaking. Uh, then nice. you able to uh, you able to uh, uh, fluently English speaking. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's it. Thank you, thank you. And in the end, I'll see uh, why people should join us at our English speaking club, and why is important to them learn English in today's world. Uh, okay. Uh... Uh, I, I want to uh, encourage the people to join our English speaking session because I think uh, it is really helpful. Um, I can uh, give uh, use myself as uh, an example. Uh, I am from China and my native language is not English. Uh, besides, I have never started and uh, worked uh, outside China. Um, I only speak, uh, I only learn English by myself and from this English speaking session. But now uh, I think I can use English to communicate with other people. So uh, I think uh, this English session, uh, speaking session uh, is really helpful for improving our English skill. So uh, if some people uh, really want to improve their English, English skill, uh, I will encourage those people to join us. Nice, nice. And that's it, guys. So if you would like to learn or improve your speaking skills, or even though just make friends from all over the world, 
just join us at our English speaking session and just ask in the comments below why or how can you do it. So we will be waiting for you and it will be awesome to have you here with us. So that's it. So guys, for the other ones who may be watching us until the end of this video, I'd like to say thank you to be here. And today we did. We managed to practice more than an hour again. And our, uh, we are more close. We are closer to our target, which will be native speaking English or as close as close as possible to be affluent in English. So that's why that's why we are here. That's why we spare some time. We spend some time at the Sunday days or at the Sunday here uh, at our English speaking session. So I would like to stop English recording right now. And I hope you you give them the like button and subscribe at our YouTube channel.